Sports brought to you by Jim White Honda. Good evening, everyone. Tyler Segerman here with you. The sport of boys volleyball isn't new to Northwest Ohio with club teams in existence. However, it is now OHSA sanctioned, which allows for some high schools to bring back their programs. And in Holland, it has served up quite the spring season. It's not as easy as it seems. A realization these Blue Devils continue to face more than a month into their season. Although the learning curve remains active, Springfield is far beyond where they envisioned to be. Their ability to adapt really quickly and just catch on to the basic fundamentals of the game has really surprised me. The program's first boys volleyball team in two decades. Pitching the idea of joining didn't receive much pushback. There's really no expectation right now. It's a first year program and so when we were recruiting guys um, from the football program, soccer program, wrestling program, we were just like, hey, let's go out and have some fun, let's do something different, and the guys were really super excited about it. What impressed me the most is the amount of numbers we had. We had like almost 50 kids try out for a brand new sport, and it's not necessarily the most popular sport. Senior Hunter Keevans typically spends his spring outside, but with his future set, he chose some enjoyment to end the high school career. Me and my friends kind of did this just to have fun, honestly. I kind of did this too to stay in shape for soccer because I'm going to play college soccer. Yeah! Same can be said for classmate Eddie Merrill III, who recently signed to play college football. And I was like, you know what? I played on the beach and in gym class sometimes. Let me try it out. So I really just I just, I just gave it a shot, and I yeah. really like it. The theme throughout this team, One, two, three, Dallas. who have all come together to partake in something unfamiliar, yet have turned the opportunity into success. They hold their own. They serve the ball, and you know they're they're jumping as high as they can to hit the ball over, and it's it's a, it's it's awesome to see. A record of 7-2 and two entering Thursday night, Springfield has proven new doesn't necessarily mean bad. Now there's some work to do if they are to catch the mark of the 1993 state championship club team. But regardless of wins or losses, this group is simply embracing the act of fun. When you hit a spike or a block or a big play in volleyball, like that, that adrenaline at that moment is nothing like, like, like any other sport. Like I feel like it's, it's, it's top tier. Just awesome to see yet another example of what opportunity it can provide.